Okay, I want to show you how to use the interactive window in VSC so you can just run some code without having to have it in a file. Um, I'll show you why that might be useful or easier. So you need some kind of Python file, but I'm just going to use this leaderboard file. Probably should have just like a blank one if you're not doing anything with the file. So I right click on it over here, um, run current file in interactive window, it'll run the file, which this one just doesn't do anything, but as long as they don't use any of the variables or whatever in it, it should be okay. So it creates this little Python session here. So I'm just going to go through the stuff from 1 to 2, just like setting numbers, creating a list. So nums equals bracket 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. you got to hit shift enter. It's the only painful thing. Shift enter. Now if you want to see what nums is, you can just spit it out. Um, x equals nums 3. Shift enter. x is going to be equal to 7. Nums 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, I don't know why I would set nums. Let's set nums 3 equal to 8 now. So now nums uh, replace the 7 with an 8 because that's the fourth one on the list. Nums, you know, I've, well, but if you check x, it's still 7. It doesn't automate. It's not set all time to nums 3. It just we temporarily or whatever it was at that time is now set to x. Um, nums dot append eleven, and I did it. You can just hit up to go to previous ones here, up and down. So I did that on purpose. Now if I type nums, it shows that eleven is in there. What if I do nums dot append X. I have no idea what's going to happen here. And it did it. A um, couple more. Nums.pop. Again, I don't know why we'd want to permanently delete something off our list. We could set this equal to Y or something, but it still is going to um, delete that off the list. Nums.remove. If you do 7, it's going to error because there's no 7s in the list. If you do nums.remove11, 